All right, today we're, I'm going to show you how to format your <clears throat> opinion paper. <clears throat> Just a key point here for the opinion paper. Uh, the content isn't as important as the formatting. So as you get your content out there, don't worry too much about uh, sounding too smart. Just get it out there. Really, the, the important things that you have to write are going to be the first paragraph. You see I have things laid out here. Um, the first paragraph and the last paragraph is what you're really going to have to write. Everything in between can be uh, quotes, something you're citing. Uh, it doesn't have to be original content so uh, so much as just the formatting is correct. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the formatting. So remember, when you do your assignments, look on Blackboard and uh, the write-up for what the uh, document requires, what the document content requirements are, uh, for all the assignments that you have are out there. So you can look at that and make sure you go down the list here before uh, you submit your assignment. Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, first you're going to put your name, uh, you can put the class and the date up here at the top. Uh, the requirement says you want to put that to the right and so we're going to go up here and we're going to uh, move that to the right and uh, then the next thing it says you're going to want to you're going to want to have um, your title here and your title is going to want to, it's going to need to be <clears throat> centered and it's going to be need to be uh, 18 bold okay <clears throat> now it says it needs to be three inches from the top of the page so what you're going to do if you can't see the rulers over here to the side you're going to need to go to the view uh, ribbon Make sure you have your rulers set, uh, and then uh, in print layout mode, you can uh, look at it here, and you can see the inches over to the top here. So we're going to have to adjust that a little bit as we go. Okay, so something else we need to do, we need to make sure we have our margin set. And uh, we're also going to need to put this, uh, all of the text below the, below the title. So this down here, starting with my first paragraph, going all the way down. I'm going to put this into, uh, we're going to go to the page layout and we're going to put it into two columns. Okay. So there's our two columns there. Okay, something else when you're copying and pasting from the internet, make sure that you have, uh, as you paste in, uh, say I, I copy something from the internet and I go to the, the home tab here, you can look at the clipboard by clicking the, the little arrow in the bottom right corner. Okay, and so as you, as you paste from the clipboard, you're going to want to, you know, paste special you're gonna want to keep that formatting so as you right click and go into paste you're gonna want to keep the formatting of whatever you're gonna be doing there so you have multiple options there okay so just something to keep in mind as you do that and then uh, the last thing I wanted to show you real quick is is how to put a footer in here or your citation so say for example, um, let me scroll out here real quick, close my clipboard. Okay, so say for example, my first citation is going to go right here after daylight right there. So I'm going to place my uh, cursor right where I want my citation to go, uh, where I want my footnote to be connected, and then I'm going to go into references, the references uh, ribbon here. 
Um, I'm in Word 2013. It's pretty similar in 2010 and 7. You're going to want to uh, select Insert Footnote. Okay, and so what this does is it, it puts a number right here after daylight, and then it puts the footnote down at the bottom in the footer. Okay, so as I get my source from the internet, what I can do, I was going to show you, there's many websites out here where you can actually use the website. Uh, for example, this one right here, this is citationcreation.com. You can actually uh, go into the, the type of citation you're doing, MLA, APA, the type of source you're using, I, I selected website here, how many authors there are in the, in the website article, so fill out all the information, and then hit submit, and it will actually create right down here the actual citation that you're going to, you can uh, copy and uh, paste into your Word document. Okay. All right, so I already did one over here for this one specifically, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy that, go down to my footer, paste it in, and there we go. So there's my first citation. And then you go down to where you want your second one. Uh, you got to make sure to put your um, selection point into where you want that to, where you want that to be cited in your main document and then go ahead and hit it, uh, the insert footnote again and then paste it in and continue that so you're going to be able to get all your footnotes in there okay uh, let's see if there's anything else that you need to do uh, so go ahead and remember read down through the list make sure you have everything uh, spaced correctly you're going to want it uh, double spaced um, and that is accomplished by selecting the text that you want to have double spaced make sure it's in the right font as well you're going to want to put it in uh, in the right font uh, double spacing is here under uh, in home you can go to paragraph and select two, two is the double spacing Okay, so that will get you the double space any other questions, feel free to email me, and we can uh, work it out and get your assignment um, completed correctly. Thank you.